Good morning, everybody. We are out here. Josh is in the back. We're going to try to put him on his first muskie today. Um, I've had terrible luck recently actually catching muskies, so we're on Action Lake. We're going to try some small baits. It's really clear out here and really weedy, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> I want to see one laying down there. Then I know. If they were this shallow, we would see them. I'm not. Fish, muskie, get the net. Oh. Actually, I don't know what this is. It's got to be a muskie. Or it's a huge bass. Oh, it's way in the weeds. So buried. This could be a giant bass, too, actually. Oh, it's so buried. Oh man, <laughs> it's a big bass, dude. Look at that thing. <laughs> I don't know if we need it. It's not a giant. I'm just gonna grab it. I mean, it's a big. That's a decent sized bass. <laughs> That's actually pretty big, dude. <laughs> That's actually enormous. <laughs> the trailer hook really pegged him, dude. This thing's so long. Oh man, That's so awesome. that is actually huge. All right, I gotta get this on. All right, dude, this is a swamp donkey, dude. Giant bass, dude. That might be almost 20 inches. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to measure them. It's like 20. With the mouth closed, it's 20. Mouth closed, 20 incher. Oh boy. It's only three. It's not that heavy actually. Four point. Dang it. Sorry, bud. 4.3 pounder. She's fat. I mean, it's pretty skinny. That's a big fish. <laughs> When the bass is so big, you think it's a muskie. <laughs> He's totally right. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Every tournament, you can't drink in. Yeah. Uh, went on plane. So pretty much every fish, muskie. Oh, it's a pike. Right? Yeah. Gross. That's disgusting. You have fun dealing with that. You wanted that? No. <laughs> Are you gonna get off? He's pretty hooked. All I saw was his belly at first. I'm like, oh, that is a muskie. Yeah, I thought it was a little guy. Not what we're looking for. This rod's pretty sweet. That rod is pretty cool. That's I mean, it's huge. Like, I barely have a rod that can rip a lure this big. Oh, here we go, big fish, big one. Here we go, it's coming, it's coming. Dude, it's still down there. He didn't open his mouth though. Oh, really? No, he just nosed up to it. Yeah, he ain't coming back. That was a good one. That was cool. That was probably like a 40, 41. Not as big as I thought when I saw it really coming in. 
I mean, this is bigger than what I would normally throw out here. I throw the next size down of this bait. That's the size of a fucking chicken. I have a bigger one too. Really? Yeah. I mean, I bought it yesterday because I couldn't throw lures this big really on that. Because this is the route I was using for this. Oh, really? So that's just a heavy action. This is an XX heavy. Then this is the next sized up reel. Jeez, dude, that was close. Like, he was pretty far behind it, too. Oh, there he is. Different fish. Bigger. Oh, my God. That's huge. Josh, that's like a 45. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, that's a really big fish. It's a different, bigger fish, dude. Oh, my God. Do you think it's not big enough? <laughs> I throw a big, that was two fish and two casts. I mean, you moved a couple nice fish on the old little chatterbait, but I don't know. That, that, make, that makes me want to rip rubber for the rest of my life. This rod sucks. <laughs> I meant to say awesome, but sucks is what came out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Does not see it? That's a different fish. There's three fish in here. Three different muskies. That was like a 43. So having Do you have three floors in that thing? Does it have a basement? Yeah, it has a basement. It's just a garage and a storage room though. It's, it's, it's not the Oh, here we go. He is lazy. That's another fish over 40. That was a decent size one. What the heck, dude? So lazy, though. There's got to be an active fish in here. Oh yeah, 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 no, big, oh, that one, that one, mm, dude, that one. you think so? It looked a little bit smaller. Ah, uh, that's true, That's probably like a 38. Oh my god, dude, there's so many fish in here. What are we doing? What are we supposed to do? Well, that's the end of the first part of this video. Hopefully I can piece it together with another one where I actually catch something, but 13 follows, one that was hooked and lost. I caught a pike and a really nice bass. So we'll see what part two brings. So it's uh, kind of nasty out here right now. I can't even believe I'm out here, but I, it was my son's birthday yesterday, so I didn't go fishing on the nice day. My wife said I can go out today and it's like 15 mile an hour east winds and it's gonna absolutely pour in like an hour and a half. So I'm thinking about just riding it out in the rain suit. So hopefully I can catch something. So it's right before the storm hits, but it's a super cold front. It's 20 degrees colder than yesterday. And the goal is Guggen Baits. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to downsize bass gear and see if they'll hit something tiny. decent sized bass that what I was hoping for right before the storm hit Ooh. first fish of the day we're two hours in the storm is literally wrapping around us so I'm just really in between like two forks of the storm then we're gonna get slammed so I'm really hoping like right now is when I get a fish so Maybe that bass is a good sign. Oh, 
must keep. It's a baby. <laughs> well, there we go. Target species acquired. <laughs> Just an absolute dink. That's what I've been getting this year. Alright, so the old pit tag scanner strikes again. All these little fresh stockers. This is last year's stockling. We're not even going to get a picture because this thing's going to be out of the net. But it is right before the storm hits, so I guess it's the perfect time for a muskie to eat. Check out this absolute slaunch. Boom. So, it's got some spots to it, but I'm guessing this is a Wisconsin strain fish. Bye-bye. bait was gone. I was leaning over for the trolling motor. Ah, that fish was hot. Uh, I suck at fishing. I shouldn't have been messing with the trolling motor. I should have caught that last fish. But that being said, you probably can barely hear me. We had to go full blown waterproof because it is really starting to rain. Probably have to take the back camera down and Hopefully this window is still open for a little while longer, but there was just two fish just that I contacted in like 15 minutes. So maybe I'll go back on them. I don't know. The bigger part of the storm is coming up quick. 